Hello and welcome to another episode of Eagle TV. My name is Kudzai and I'm a business development specialist here at Eagle. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon in order to get notified when we post new updates. You can also search for us on Facebook and Instagram under Eagle Analytical to stay up to date. If you work in the health and science industries, you'll likely be familiar with isopropyl alcohol, which is used as a disinfectant in hospitals, pharmaceuticals, clean rooms, and other areas that need frequent sanitization. We recently came across an article on MarthaStewart.com, which discusses the differences between 70% IPA versus 99% IPA against coronaviruses. You'll be surprised to learn that 70% IPA is more effective than 99% IPA. We have Dr. David Husong with us here to explain more. A recent article was published in the Martha Stewart uh, Living page. Um, and it was explaining that the 99% alcohol, whether it's isopropyl or ethanol, she referred to isopropyl particularly, but why that is not as effective as 70% solutions. The deal with alcohol is the purer it is, the more volatile it is, it evaporates very quickly. You need to keep the alcohol in contact with whatever surface you're sanitizing. Sanitization requires time in order to make the efficacy where you want it to be. Generally, what you want is at least 60% alcohol. And that's an approximation. Uh, for a chemist, you would like it exactly on target, but that doesn't always work out when uh, preparing these things. But evaporation and similar problems occur. So you might lose some. When used at 70 to 60%, the extra water allows the alcohol to work its way into the virus or the bacterium, and that causes killing of it by breaking the envelope or cell wall, causing the contents to spill out and proteins will then denature in, in the uh, organism. It's no longer infectious. Alcohol needs to be in contact with the surfaces long enough to make all this happen. Water allows the alcohol to stay in contact with the virus. For a hand sanitizer, we would add glycerin, which is an emollient, and it allows the alcohol to stay there, work a little longer, and also keep your hands from getting too dry after putting alcohol on them. You don't want emollients on the surfaces you're cleaning, they, they get sticky. Alcohol is a very effective uh, sanitizer. It can be toxic, so don't use too much. Thank you, David. Eagle TV is here to continue providing science-based information to help you stay safe during this time. Earlier episodes are available on our YouTube channel. And to make sure that you never miss when an episode is published, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when a new episode is published. Visit our COVID-19 Info Center at www.eagleanalytical.com forward slash COVID-19. There you can also submit questions for our scientists and they can answer in future episodes.